Hello. Today we're going to do some first grade addition with my dog, Scoop. Before we do that, we're going to read a comic called The Adventures of Math Boy and Math Girl vs. Gr Mr. Grumpy Math Guy. Grumpy Math Guy says, If you kids can read, then you kids should get story problems right every time. So Grumpy Math Guy thinks story problems are easy. Well, Math Boy says, I love to read, but story problems are still hard for me. Math Girl's thinking. Math Girl says, think before you ink. Drawing bars to match your story helps you figure out parts or the whole. And Math Boy thinks, two parts and a whole, that sounds like a number bond. Woohoo! And Math Girl thinks, bond number bond. So, on the advice of Math Girl, we're going to draw what's called a tape diagram to match your story problem. And a tape diagram is just a different way of organizing the pictures that you know how to draw for math. We know how to draw a 10 frame, but this is just a, a more sophisticated version of that that will eventually help us solve any kind of problem. So when I read the story problem, I'm going to try and draw pictures to match it. So, Lee saw six squash and seven pumpkins growing in his garden. So, I think we have two parts. We have six squash and seven pumpkins. Okay, and I'm going to draw my six squash as six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm not going to draw them in groups of five anymore. Now, the difference between a drawing and a tape diagram is I want to box this in. It's like I'm unrolling a piece of tape. I make a bar that is six big. I actually like to draw a starting line when I make a tape diagram, so I know where to start. When I run a race, I want to start at the same place. Now I know there are also seven pumpkins growing. So I'm going to put a little S for squash, I'm going to put P over here for pumpkins, and I'm going to use X's for pumpkins, and I'm going to draw seven X's. And you should notice that my bar for pumpkins is slightly bigger than my bars for squash because seven is a little bit bigger than six. The size of our bars should match the size of our numbers. Well, now this really reminds me of a number bond. I want to know how many the whole garden has. That would be my question mark. So I always put a question mark in what I'm trying to find. Well, this really reminds me of a number bond that we've been working on all year. I don't know the whole, but I know the two parts. So now I can write a number sentence to match this. I know that 6 plus 7 equals the number we're looking for. And I can use any strategy I want. I can count on. For me, I'm going to make 10 because I think that's easiest. I know 6 and 4 make 10. And then if I've taken 4 away from 7, there's 3 left. So 10 and 3 make 13, and in this case, it's 13 vegetables. So I'm drawing a bar to match my story. My story could look different. Let's look at a different story using similar numbers. Okay. This time, Lee saw six squash and some zucchini growing in his garden. Okay, so I know my garden is going to have six squash, so I start by drawing my starting line. I'm going to make my squash circles, and I'm going to draw six of them. Again, I'm not making a 10 frame anymore. And I'm going to cup these in with a bar, write the number six, and the letter S for squash. But here's the problem. There are some zucchini there, and I don't know how much zucchini this is. So I'm going to make about an equal-sized bar, because I really don't know what goes in here. So I put a question mark in there. I'm going to label it Z for zucchini. And I still have one more piece of information, that there are 13 vegetables total. Since I know that's the total in my garden, that's worth the entire two bars put together. It makes 13. Again, this really reminds me of my number bond. I have 13 as my whole, 6 as a part, and I don't know what my other part is. 
So I know when I have a whole and a part, I'm going to do subtraction. 13 take away 6 equals my missing number. I can also write this as a missing add-in problem. 6 plus somebody makes 13. Both of these sentences are exactly the same. They're related. Okay, so my strategy is going to be to take from the 10. Because when I look at 6, I know I can't take from the 3, 1, so I'm going to take from the 10. So I'm going to do my math over here real quick. I'm going to do 10 minus 6, which means 4. But since I still had that 3 that I didn't take away from, I've got to add it back. So I know 13 minus 6 makes 7. So there would be 7 zucchini left in the garden. So all these drawing these tape diagrams does is it really sets me up to be able to make sense of the problem. I think story problems are hard, but if I can draw a picture to look at it, it makes it easier. Let's check out what Scoop has to say. Scoop says, drawing a picture in the snow helps me figure out what math to do. So be like Scoop and draw a tape diagram to solve your word problems. Have a nice day.